bet that. What's good with you, bro? What's up, guys? How y'all doing? Good, man. You? You're doing good, bro. We just chilling. Facts, facts, facts. <laughs> How are you, bro? What you been on? Just working, man. I, I woke up like an hour ago. <laughs> a <Our> work? <laughs> facts. <laughs> were you, were you nah, shooting bro. a video or were you like like working or doing something else? Oh, no. I was I was editing all night, so I was just – I was out of it. <laughs> Oh yeah, well, yeah, we're gonna get into that for sure, bro. We have hella questions, bro. So <laughs> let's do it. But nah, um, and we we appreciate you hopping on. Uh, when would you say that you first started, or when you first knew that you wanted to start directing? Yeah, I I honestly never knew. I um I started going to school. I graduated high school in like 2015. I went to school. I wanted to be an architect, but like, that's not fun. <laughs> yeah. And then after that, I um. I was I was so bored in college like I was in I went to middle Georgia for like a semester and that school was terrible I was at like the Cochran campus there was nothing to do out there so my boys were rapping so I was like all right let me start rapping I made like two songs and then shot a video and then after that I was like wait <laughs> it was I'm dead. not a rapper like that like so <laughs> some people can rap but like if you got to think about your lyrics like if you can't really just go in there and rap like and make music like you probably shouldn't be rapping. <laughs> oh, for sure. That's what um, I came to the conclusion of. But um, then I, I realized, like, music videos are fine, so let me tap into that. And then I tapped into that, and I was kind of good at it for a second. <laughs> I liked it. And then it, I just started shooting music videos. And then from there, like, it just kind of took off. <laughs> so, like, you didn't do any formal training. Like, you just taught yourself type shit? Um, yeah, YouTube. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna oh, lie because that's when i started shooting when like cole bennett and lil pump and them started going crazy and i was like yeah i can do that yeah. i definitely could do that and then the, the youtube is such like an easy tool because like you really don't have to go to school to to learn how to shoot videos like it's kind of simple it's you just of course you got to get better at like directing and editing and all that but it's, it's really simple but like there's a whole like i guess youtube can teach you like how to like shoot it i guess but like you have to come up like you come up because there's concepts like videos have concepts and shit like that and then on top of that it's like your own input like so like what is that like like especially like because i was watching some of your shit like the concepts that you guys have to create like what is that creation mm. process like bro it's in the area i'm at of like shooting videos it's it's kind of hard in a sense because most artists it's like, yeah, just come to my crib, come to my house, yeah. and we're going to go from here. So a lot of it's, like, heavy editing. So, like, I, I got to figure it out right there in the moment. Like, all right, let's shoot right here so I can try to do this effect later. Like, it, it's a lot of, like, guessing and, like, <laughs> trying to get the right shots. But um, some videos definitely have bigger concepts or, like, more detailed concepts that I write out and stuff. Mm -hmm. Those are, I would say those are usually my better videos. But, like, for the past, like, I say my every all the videos I shoot are pretty much running gun. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't I don't personally want to do that, but that's kind of just what I fell into over the years. Just because I'm good at getting three, four performance shots and then just going crazy on the edits. But I'm eventually like I'm trying to step away from that now. Like I'm really trying to direct videos for real. Right. And so like, mm -hmm. how long does that usually take you? Like just going through that whole process. Is that a week, two weeks? From the top of, of, of what like shooting and editing or like yeah, yeah. the whole like planning um it just depends on the artist for real because some artists like i'm gonna have an artist hit me up today like hey are you free tomorrow or in two days send me the song we'll do it when do you need it back the next day <laughs> i really i don't do next day edits anymore because that is slave work for real <laughs> but yeah. um uh i'd say from like planning to the finished product takes like a week Okay, it could take some days it could take longer it just depends on the artist but usually about a week mm -hmm. so like do, um yeah go ahead P. oh no i was just gonna ask do you feel like or most of your videos are you the one doing the planning with the concepts or do you ever have those artists that are like yo like i have this concept from like start to finish and i want to see if you can yeah that's um yeah that's, that's it's it's 50 50 like some artists are just like bro i don't care like i like your work <laughs> just yeah. let's, let's shoot whatever and like i like that too but uh, some artists are are real into detail like they they tell me their plan and then i'll d basically direct their vision but some artists like everybody's different yeah 
And so like, as an artist, as a, as a, do you only work with artists though? Is it just music? Are you trying to branch out? Like, ooh. I mean, the main goal is, is, is films, like feature films. Mm. But that, that's later. I, I want to perfect music videos. Okay. Because like people, it's, music videos aren't just like run and gun, like, shoot and edit like you can really make a movie out of a music video and that's that's what i want to start doing mm -hmm. i turn that into movies and once i get there then i want to tap into the feature film area right and so like i guess in that same breath then who are your some some of your favorite video um makers there um music videos or, or like uh movie directors i guess both i guess both because i guess both of them kind of relate so Movies? I watch so many movies, bro. I don't even really pay attention to the directors, honestly. <laughs> mm -hmm. I watch way too many movies. But music videos, I'd say uh, Brother. They direct a lot of Travis Scott videos. Uh, you, you, you've seen them. <laughs> but they're, their name's Brother. They're hard. They're very hard. I love their edits. I love their lighting, all that. Mm -hmm. uh, Shoot, there's there's a lot, but brother is probably my favorite out there. Did um did brother direct uh the wake up video, Travis's wake up video? I don't know. I don't know if I saw that video. They did the butterfly effect video. They did um I forgot the other songs. They did some weekend videos. They shoot for all mainstream artists, pretty pretty much. And um, do you feel like you have like like one artist that you know like every time like he hits you up like yo bro let's get a video you know it's gonna click automatically like do you have someone that like you have the best chemistry with uh soda man i yeah i, peeped, I know you have to say. <laughs> the videos that's, with him are pretty really started started shooting videos with for real um because mm -hmm. he he's 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 on the same page as me like he always wants to try and get something new get something like some people usually don't do and i, I love doing that i love trying to think outside the box so I say we yeah. probably have the best chemistry. So what makes what makes a good video though? Cause like obviously, like there's obvious shit, I guess, if there's a storyline and you know the graphics are good and shit. But like besides that, like what's going to make a good video, at least in your mm -hmm. eyes? Um okay, mainly the lighting. I'll say that. Like lighting is very important. Cause if you don't have lighting, then <laughs> it's not gonna be you're never gonna get the look you want. But the lighting is very important. The setup is very important. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm trying to step away from the, like, pull up to my apartment and shoot. Because you can only do so much in somebody's kitchen and living room. <laughs> yeah. But, like, the prop design, all that. Like, every everything's a factor in music videos. But I would just say the, the lighting, the setup, and the effects. Just because music videos, like, if there's no storyline, there should be effects. <laughs> and most of my videos don't yeah. have storylines. So they need some effects. <laughs> so then, like, coming off of that, though, are you picky about the artists you do choose to work with? Like, do you hear some niggas' music and you're like, ah, oh, shit, no, that shit trash. Like, I cannot. No, yeah, I've definitely, um, I've never said anybody's music's bad just because, like, some people are in different areas of, like, where they're at. Like, some people are newer artists and, like, they will get better eventually. And some people are, like, some people, I don't know. <laughs> but, <laughs> um, Yeah. <laughs> so um kind of touch on that like oh no you go ahead Kev. i was just gonna say so you're not picky like if i wanted to do a music video with you today hypothetically right could i yeah, yeah i would i would shoot with you just because like i'm not um unless i really don't think you're an artist like that i don't really shoot with people who aren't artists essentially like there are people who are just like bro i'm trying to make a song let's shoot a video like i don't really care to do that because more than likely the video is not going to come out how you want just because this is like your first video and you don't really rap yeah. <laughs> so you don't you don't you're not you don't really know what's going on but i mean i i shoot with anybody that's willing to be creative and and has a good sound i don't really care like how many followers you have or like any of that if, if you got good music you got a good sound or you're trying to make a good career for yourself then i'll definitely try to make something fly for you that's dope cool. um do you ever run across someone and like you meet them like before the video and they try to shoot an outlandish video and you're like that's not you bro like you know you're acting for the camera like do, do they ever like have different personas like when you're shooting the video oh i mean um well what, what do you mean by that 
like it like, like, as in, like, like do, they, do they try to act like harder than they really are or like like bro like you know you're not like you know you're not from here or, like you know oh i mean that's i'm not gonna say that's everybody but like yeah that's kind of the look for music videos like you want to look as hard as possible in videos and like even some of the dudes toting guns like they're good people <laughs> like they're not like they they may look harsh like just because they own a gun like they're not a bad person but some of these dudes most most of these dudes are like good guys like i'm not gonna say they're soft or nothing like they're not i'm not gonna say none of that but most most of the people i shoot for are good people where do you yeah. get like most of the like because you got to get props you got to get people like the backgrounds and shit like i'm i was watching one of your videos like you're in a fucking desert I'm like, what the fuck? Uh, <laughs> There's act, and he's flicking actual sand, and I'm like, yeah. oh, fuck. I know you guys didn't go to Africa, so no, like, we went to, uh, we were in the Mojave Desert. Y'all we actually were, went bro, to the we Mojave Desert. Sure. Yeah, we walked for like three hours. We we legitimately could have died. We didn't bring any water. We thought no. it was an easy walk because like when you're at the bottom of the yeah. of the sand dunes or whatever, it looks so close, <laughs> and then you start walking up there, and it's not close at all. So we y'all really video, went, but... y'all really went to the Mojave Desert to film his video. Yeah. Oh, so you there is no to plan go... was to get like four wheelers and all this stuff, but we planned it like the day of, and like it just didn't work out. So we're like, all right, let's just go. <laughs> it's okay. gonna be five, so let's say, do it, and then we did it. That's the craziest place that you went, like to yeah. shoot the video. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's definitely one of the. Yeah, that's that's. I'd say that's the number one or two. <laughs> So then, if you went like with everything else, though, like you gotta, you guys gotta get girls props. Like, are you guys just calling girls up, like, yo, pull up, we about to shoot this? Uh, a lot of this stuff is a little bit more organized than it seems. Like, uh, it depends. Sometimes the artists may have friends or girls that just in it. Sometimes, like, you have to pay for models and stuff like that, and then mm -hmm. that's all organized. Like, it's it's kind of it just depends on who you know or how organized the production is and all that. <laughs> Okay. But it's it's usually organized, I'd say. Like, even if it's running gun, it's at least, like, we're, we're not just, like, doing random stuff. Yeah. Like, we're still, we're still, like, calling everybody, making sure everything's good, all the rentals are good, all the spots are good, and all that. Mm. And it's, it's, I would say I'm in the area of lower budget music videos, so a lot of it is dependent on me and the artist. Mm, yeah, I see what you're saying. So we got to, both of us, like, it's kind of a team effort. Like, I mean, I don't have a problem with taking care of all that. But, like, when it is a lower budget video, like, the artist will usually rent out the spot and rent out the models or whatever. And then we'll orchestrate all that. And so, like, so, like, but you haven't taken, like, a single class? Because I'm seeing, I'm watching your videos. You got tons of I went to, um... I went to, cause you know, like my parents, they want me to get a degree and all that. And I'm not going, I'm not going to say no to that, even though it's, <laughs> I could care less, but I had to, um, I stopped, I took a semester off or maybe a year off. I don't remember. And then I went to the art Institute for a second, just to get like a film degree or something, just to get a degree. Mm -hmm. And that is such a waste of money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They didn't teach, they don't, I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to knock them. Like they taught me like some production etiquette and stuff like that, but they don't teach you anything on like the, they don't go into deep detail about like editing or like the camera work for real. They just teach you like production etiquette. Like I wouldn't tell anybody to go to film school if you're trying to shoot music videos. Okay. Yeah, that's true. I, I see what you're saying. So like, what are you currently shooting with? Like what camera? Um, I've been using a Nikon D850 for the past year, and then I finally ordered a RED camera that came in like last week. So I'm shoot, I'm now shooting on that. Well, I shoot on both, but that's gonna be my main camera. That RED camera isn't that famous for some shit. It's 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 a cinema camera. Like you can shoot movies on it. Oh snap! Yeah, yeah. So it's it's about to be different level of videos, guys. <laughs> Was it um? Like starting off, was it mad pricey? Like getting all your stuff together, like the software that you had to edit off of and the camera. Not even that? starting off, like now. <laughs> it gets oh, really? More it gets more pricey because, you know, mm. like, you got to deal with bigger caliber artists, so you got to get the industry standard equipment. Because at first, like, you can finesse lower budget things and stuff like that, and, but eventually, you got to get the big boy equipment. <laughs> but like, I would say, yeah, starting off is definitely harder, just because you're not making. The amount of money that you would if you've been doing it for a longer time. Like, you're dealing with a lot of fish just because, you, I mean, you're an amateur. 
you can't you can't really expect to get more money and you don't have the experience for sure you really got to build your portfolio would you say someone like that edits video at your caliber could edit something like that on like something like simple like um premiere pro or iMovie or something like that or would they need something like a lot more high quality like um, Final Cut or something. No, nah, like Pre- Premiere Pro, I think, is probably like the highest. Um, uh, yeah, I think Premiere, yeah, Adobe Premiere and After Effects, that's like as high as you can go, I think, for software, unless you're getting into like animation and stuff like that. But, but I mean, you could do it on Final Cut. You can, I would, you can't do it on, on iMovie <laughs> unless you're yeah. just doing like simple cut to cut videos. But like Final Cut, Premiere, like you can, you can do the effects on either of those. Yeah. How are you meeting these rappers, though? Like, because, like, I'm sure the work speaks for itself and shit like that. People see your videos, they like, all right. Mm. But like, it's, bro, it's a lot. that In this industry, it's all about, like, networking and connections. Yeah. Like, um, I've been working with my boy. Um, his name is B. Marin, Brett. Um, he, he's an A&R manager. He does whatever. He does all of it. <laughs> but um, I've known him for a while, and he'll throw me bigger artist like he just we it's just he's just that connection like we'll direct videos together or he'll give me some artists like hey he needs to be turned up give him a good video i'm like all right bet and then like they might have friends or they see my instagram like it's all like word of mouth and networking instagram for real <laughs> okay i see what you're saying so like but um so but like can you be signed like do videographers get signed I don't, I don't really know. I don't know why you would sign if you were a videographer. I know, like, some labels, I, I'm pretty sure they have, like, in-house, like, videographers, like, their go-to that they'll just throw all their artists to. I'm pretty sure. But I don't yeah. I don't think you can necessarily get signed as a director or anything. Or I don't know why you'd want to. Just because I feel like you're kind of, you might be limiting yourself at that point. If you If they're willing to sign you, then you clearly have something that everybody else wants, unless they're offering the right amount of money. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Do you feel like your videos don't get enough views or get enough attention sometimes? Because I was looking at, I was looking at your YouTube page and it's like, you no, should be yeah, getting numbers that's... like Cole Bennett for real. Like you, you're really underrated. That's how I feel. At least. <laughs> Appreciate that. No, um, I mean, I'd say one that's kind of on me. Like I haven't really built up my YouTube page. I haven't really put a drive there. I just drop my videos on there just so if people do look up Digitari. It's at least somewhere online and it's my page, but. Um, Nah, my, my videos definitely get very low views, but that's not really what I'm worried about too much. Cause like the views isn't for me, the views for the artist. Like that's, yeah. I'm, they want the views. I want to get better as like directing. Like I want my videos to, I want somebody to see my video and know I did that video. Like that's what I'm trying to get right. to. I, I could care less about the views. Cause I don't get paid for views anyways. I mean, I could <laughs> if I built my YouTube up and all that, but that's that's not really my focus too much i'm just i'm really just trying to get the artist the best video possible mm, for sure i, w- I want to know what's the worst what's the worst video that you shot that you oh, man. Have to get rid of this shit you mean like worst artists i've worked with or worst video i've shot because i've oh. shot some bad videos let me let me hear, <laughs> let me hear both and you don't gotta I, i'm not i'm not gonna say any names or anything but mm-hmm. i've dealt with a lot <laughs> big. I deal with the, as a director like you have a, have a lot of patience because artists do not care about you <laughs> some do but most do not just because I mean that's it's just business yeah. like they have their own stuff going on so do I but <laughs> the, a lot of artists they they just focus on themselves which I'm you know I don't complain I'm not complaining but um what do you mean by that and the aspects of like not i wouldn't say now but when you're starting off like two years ago like an artist might be like hey bro you can shoot this video for give it to me like tomorrow (laughs) and then ask for like three revisions and barely even like tag me or anything on the video like stuff like that i guess (laughs) they probably don't see it as disrespectful but like it is pretty much disrespectful but um I don't know. I wouldn't say I just have I've been in weird situations to where artists will be like, I'm on the way and they are not on the way. <laughs> and it's like, why would you do that? Just like, <laughs> like what do you shit, man? That's nigga shit, bro. 
like it was when I was first starting out, I had a bigger video with an artist. I'm not even gonna say his name, but um, we pulled up to the shoot and he was like, I'm on the way. And we are like, all right, bet. And then two hours went by. And he was like, nah, I, I'm on the way. Something came up, blah, blah, blah. And we are like, all right, bet. And like, I was in my, my boy's place. So we were kind of chilling. Like if it was anywhere else, I would have just left. But mm -hmm. four hours go by. <laughs> and he's like, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm on the highway right now. And then five hours go by, six hours no go by. And on the no. sixth hour... <laughs> Yeah. I can't remember. I think he no, he didn't pull up, and then he was like, "Yeah, we just wanted to shoot tomorrow." And like, I really wanted the video because it was a bigger video, and like, I like that was like, I didn't, I was first starting out, so I was pretty excited. I was willing to do whatever, not whatever, but. <laughs> um, and then I waited, and then the next day he came, and like he just did not like. It's as if he didn't even want the video for real. <laughs> even though like he hit us up for the video but yeah I did, he just he just didn't he was out of it it was it was weird <laughs> but i've been i've only been in those situations like two or three times did you scrap that video or did you still put it out no i still put it out for sure i, I wanted to work with him mm -hmm. i wouldn't work with him ever again but i wanted to back then <laughs> <laughs> have you like llc like do you do contracts with people um, it depends on the budget. If it's a bigger budget, then yeah. Mm -hmm. But not necessarily, not like, um, more like, uh, agreements. Like I'll just send them over something saying like, I own the video, blah, blah, blah. You own the song, whatever. Just an agreement saying they paid this price and all that. But most of the times it's just like, send me the money and we'll make it happen. Cause it's not a, I wouldn't say it's a big enough amount to really make a, I mean, I probably should make a contract. I'm not gonna lie, but <laughs> It's not a big enough amount to really trip about. Okay, yeah, I see what you're saying. You have a thousand dollar budgets, and yeah, I'll definitely write some agreements out. <laughs> mm -hmm. What were you saying? Do, um, do you have a dream rapper that you want to uh, collaborate with? Um. Oh yeah, Chief Keith for sure. <laughs> oh yeah Keith, Keith. why Keith because no he doesn't shoot good videos he, he'll drop some, <laughs> all his videos are in his crib like, he'll drop a high budget video and yeah. then maybe a video with a, a five director that knows how to edit and then after that it's just pure like he knows one of his friends who owns a camera and they just shoot you know, <laughs> like I want to give him some five videos because his songs are way too hard for the videos he'd be dropping. Yeah, no, that's fine. I was watching the Cheeky video the other day. I forgot what fucking song, but it was literally just him and his homeboys, the car, and they was outside. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it'd be hard though. Like I love it. That's <laughs> Dude, so I just like, like, God damn, so better, but yeah. <laughs> but yeah, he's he's definitely he's he's up there. Like, and I say him, Kendrick Lamar. Okay. And, and Drake, just because of Drake's caliber. Facts, facts, facts. Like, but like, do you, or do you feel like your videos are unique? Like, do you try to do certain things to make your shits more unique? Um, no. That's that's where I'm trying to get. That's where I'm getting this year. Like, my videos will be new, unique this year. But okay. like, my videos are cool. But I I see so many other people out there doing some of the effects that I do, and it's just like ah. <laughs> I could, I got to do better, mm -hmm. but I mean, it's definitely, it's definitely a different look. Like I definitely have like a certain style to my videos, but it's not even the style I want them to be. Like, I want my videos to look like movies <laughs> and they don't yeah. look like movies. They're definitely good editing and stuff like that, but they, they just need to look more like movies, but that's, that's what I'm about to work on. How do you make that? But do you, do you think that you may have to change like the type of rappers that you do then? Because like, I guess to make it more like a movie, say you're working with like a Kendrick Lamar, like he's going to mm -hmm. do like a story in his shit. Yeah. If you're working um, with like, Methazine per se, who's more bands, bands, you know what I'm saying? Like, do you feel like you may have to change a couple things in that regard? Uh, I wouldn't even blame the rappers. I would blame the budgets because I can't direct you a movie if you're only giving me like <laughs> okay. like it's just like i i of course i will try to give you the best looking video you can but like i can't storyboard and spend four hours 
shooting the video and then spend 16 hours editing the video for six <laughs> like it's 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 hard so but, it's like, um, is the money directly correlated to like the amount of work you're gonna put in or like what you can do for them so like let's say um, it depends like it i don't know it, it all depends on the artist at the end of the day because if the artist is hitting me up and he's like hey i got 1500 pull up to my crib still <laughs> it's like i can't give you a movie but if they're like bro i want to like let's let's sit down and think about this and create some five stuff or they tell me to do that then i'll do it but like if you go on my page like you can kind of see like it's it's one performance scenes two performance scenes shot videos so like the people that hit me up they're looking for that <laughs> they're looking for like the quick like they want to shoot a video in an hour and two and get a five video like they're looking for that and that's that, i just got to step out of that that's that's really on me okay yeah i see what you're saying but like what what is the farthest to what extent like would you go like to shoot a video because like you said you walked in the mojave desert for three hours mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> so like what's the furthest you gonna do like so say let's say let's say a dude was like all right bro i want a video and we going skydiving i was i was literally about to say the <laughs> the the most i wouldn't do is skydive and I only say that is because I've never done it before. But if I was used to it, I would definitely do that for a video. But I personally wouldn't go skydiving now. But I would do anything <laughs> else. I'd go underwater. Would you go scuba? Huh? I was, I was just I was actually about to ask, would you scuba dive? I was just going to ask. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll do all that. Anything that does not have to do with dropping out of a plane, I'll do. Wait, wait, were you, like, scared of heights or something? I just don't like skydiving. <laughs> That's just not, I don't, I got to experience it for, I can't even say I don't like it. It's just very intimidating. Y'all would go, y'all would go skydiving? I would definitely go skydiving. I feel like, oh, God. but like, I think I could only go skydiving if like, cause they have like a, you can only go if you're at my level, like with someone else on top of you, yeah, you know what I mean? Like yeah, a professional. Yeah yeah so but i would definitely do it by myself if I could. Make, that's still gonna make me tweak because i don't trust that motherfucker bro tracks because <laughs> you know I mean? they like to play with you too bro they'd be like oh we got to jump out dog and but you like, gotta oh. think about it though like the likelihood of you dying is definitely a lot less of you than you surviving you know oh, what i mean dude, that's, or that's even getting hurt but what yeah. if y'all are in the air and that nigga says oh shit bro this shit not going because they be fucking with people pat they really be fucking with people so if y'all in the air he said oh shit bro literally like you can <laughs> bro i would i would die right there yeah bro, i would start <laughs> no bro bro, bro. I might have a heart attack before I before I can nah, even for real. Yeah, so much. that's the thing I'm worried about. I'm I'm genuinely worried about my heart because I actually think I would dead ass have a heart attack for one sky. Facts. <laughs> you feel me? Are y'all scared of roller coasters? I used to be, and then you, I went and I wasn't. I still don't like them bitches, bro. Hell no. Yeah, I'm not gonna say I'll go on one like easily, but like if if I'm there and people are there, I'm not gonna be like, oh, I don't wanna do it. I might do that, but I probably yeah. won't. <laughs> But, but like, yeah, like anything, because you do videos, but like, I, like you said, you know, A and R's, all this shit is connection. Mm -hmm. Other parts of this industry you want to get involved in? Nah, <laughs> not at all. I mean, I mean, eventually, I might like manage some artists because, like, once you once you like know the ins and outs of it, and I would eventually, like, once I learn a little bit more, I eventually like might manage artists, but I really don't. I want to be in the industry like that. I want to be in the film industry for real. Okay. So how would you, you have a certain job? Oh, my bad, Kev. <laughs> I've been talking over you this whole interview. I oh, know you could go ahead. Now, um, do you have a favorite genre of movies that you like to watch or oh, that you uh, want to eventually direct? I want to say horror, but like to direct a horror movie, you really <laughs> got to be a little bit messed up. I'm sorry. That sounds funny as fuck, man. Cause like a horror movie dog, like shit, jump it out. Like, come on, bro. No, I, I would I would never do jump scares. I would do more on the side of like Jordan Peele, like thrillers, okay. type horror. Like I I could never do like The Conjuring and stuff like that. That's okay. That's real you, twisted. <laughs> says some. You're directing these shits, right? So mm -hmm. like, are you sitting? Is it like you're literally sitting in a high chair going, "Hey, move there." No, 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 no. I'm directing, <laughs> editing, uh, shooting, 
I'm, I'm doing everything. Like, I'm not, I'm not there yet. Like, I don't have a director of photography. I don't even want a director of photography for so you oh, so it's just it's just you you're like solo you're solo dolo with it. um it depends like if it's a bigger shoot i i'll have people um slide through and help me and stuff like that but yeah it's, it's usually just me okay how are you gonna make that transition into like film then because like that sounds because you're making music videos but i imagine that's drastically different than filmmaking if that makes sense um the thing with filmmaking is there's so much that goes into it like there's the script then there's like you have to plan out like the shots and you have to do all that. Like as a director, I won't be really touching all of that. Like I'm not going to be editing the movies I'm shooting or I'm not going to be, I really could. I mean, I'll be involved in the script writing process, but I would never want to write a script like that. <laughs> I I that's, that's not for me, but um, that, that's, that's what like I'm, I need to start building into like less of just me shooting the video and building a, a team and actually like, learning how to control a production but once again that comes with budget because <laughs> i can't bring a full production team to <laughs> and then i'm getting basically the price of what i could have just done myself yeah okay what were you saying p oh no no i was just i was talking about the the script writing um but i know you have someone that you want to like make a movie like like around like a star actor, like an actress, or even like a, you know, like a um, a screenwriter maybe. Um, do you have any in mind? Mm, I really, I don't know. The only director that I can think that really like impresses me is Jordan Peele. Really? Just and because why, why? like he's, he's, his movies are so like artistic and smart. Like it's more than just like, horror movies like there's so much symbolism and like mm -hmm. art that goes into his directing it's it's pretty impressive and like his movies don't really have a point to where it's like oh why didn't they do this or why didn't they do that like i really say like get out have y'all seen get out oh yeah 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 like that movie like that was the budget they had for that and what they did with that and most of it was like one location like it kept you locked in and like that was his i don't know if that was his first movie he ever drop like that but I, w I was impressed with that and of course like he's a black director like black directors like they're usually no not not to knock them or anything but they're probably gonna more so talk about something political like spike lee or something like that like they're i don't really <laughs> in my movies i don't care to ever bring up something political like yeah. when i watch movies i want i want it to bring you out of real life like i want you to enjoy the movie there's no reason for you to <laughs> Bring it real, life, real life in that movie. Like, I'm not going to bring up police brutality and none of that in my movies. So, so basically, you don't like Tyler Perry's movies anymore, man? No. So, yeah. no Shouts out to Tyler shit. Perry. He's doing his thing. He's, he, he's spaz, but I don't care about Tyler Perry's movies. Yeah, no, I feel. But, like, do you watch do you watch any, like, mob movies? Do you, have you watched The Godfather? Mm -hmm. Like, have you? So you've seen, like, some Scorsese films? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I, I like movies like that. Yeah, no. I don't know if I could ever direct a movie like that just because like I feel like you you direct what you know. Yeah, true. And I'll, all I know is <laughs> thrillers, psychological films, stuff like that. Like that's that's all I watch. I mean, I watch everything, but mainly like stuff like that. I like movies that really make you think or movies you don't know what's going to happen. Like I hate a predictable movie. But as oh a director, like you said, you're not going to be writing the script, so like you'd have to choose that, I guess, for yourself. Mm, I mean, I would be a part of the process, though. Like, I'd be guiding them, like, put this in there, put that. But I'll always, if, if they're writing the script, then do what you got to do. But, like, they would probably be somebody I knew or somebody that I'm close with that probably has a mind like me. I would never just, like, tell somebody to write a script and I'll just direct it. Right. Okay. What's the call? Uh, you had said that your first music video, you shot your own rap video? No, 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 no. I, I had started rapping. I shot a music video for it. And then I saw um, the dude I shot with. I was like, damn, that's that's actually fine. Like, <laughs> I want to do that. Oh, his name. Let me, his name is Jason. His idea is Productions. He's fine. Mm -hmm. But he shot my first music video and he snapped. And I was like, yeah, I'm not a rapper, but I definitely need to shoot music videos. And so, like, yeah. where, where does it start from there? Like, did you have to go cop a camera? What, what, what happens when you start from there? I mean, 
yeah the, the first step is buying a camera and then after that it's watching youtube videos <laughs> because like you gotta you kind of got to do everything at once like you got to buy the camera you got to buy the softwares you got to buy the equipment to make the camera move and all that stuff and then you can start shooting but what's so, all what's, what software is, is it that you uh adobe premiere oh just adobe okay yeah do you edit off a of Mac? Because we be editing, and this Mac should be blowing me sometimes, man. No, nah, I, I use a Mac, bro. You got to get – if you're doing, like, editing, you got to get more RAM for your computer. Because you- I use the desktops, but I was using a laptop. It had, like, 8 gigabytes of RAM, and it froze on everything. Yeah. Mm, it was it was terrible. How do you get more RAM for the computer, though? Okay. I think – You hear me? Oh, you just order it. It depends what, what year you got. Like, I know, I think above, no, nah, no, nah, I think regardless, yeah, you buy the RAM, you might have to have somebody, like, unscrew it and then put it in. For the desktops, you just press it and then take it out and it's a chip. But for the computers, you got to order the chip and, like, have somebody put it in for you unless you know how to do it. Okay, I got you. Yeah, we've been editing these videos. These shits have been... <laughs> Dude, yeah, this, uh, I, I try to run um, Adobe Premiere on my computer and that shit was not going, bro, like, at all. And then sending, it's sending the videos, though. What are you sending it off of? Because, like, when we be sending them bitches, like, I have to use, I usually just publish it on YouTube so Patrick can see it. Because if I try to send it as a file, it'd be sent, like, it's too big to email. What's the, how, how, well, I guess we've been on the phone probably for, like, 30 minutes. So, y'all definitely got, like, 30 minutes of footage, probably. Um, I send everything through Google Drive. I just email it. But my videos are like two minutes, three minutes. Like, it's just music like, videos. Oh, shit. You know, I did not think about that. And then, because once you edit the video, like, the, the storage goes up, too, that I noticed. So, like, it'll be like a two gig video. And then by the time the edits it, then it'll be like, it's six gigs now. For a premiere? Nah, I'm saying, like, when I add, like, music and shit to it, like, when I add music. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, animations to it, then the video goes up. Yeah. And like, y'all, yeah, y'all be, but this isn't, uh, this isn't 4K, is it? No, 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 it's not 4K. I don't think so. I, See, wish, one... I wish the graphics, boy, <laughs> we were trying to figure something out about these damn graphics. Like, I was telling P, I was showing him, like, if we can tape off our phone and get the audio from our laptops and sync them. You feel me? Yeah, I don't know, like, I don't know mm-hmm. if y'all know who Cody Ko is. Um, Cody. They have, like, this... It's um he's a YouTuber, but he has his um podcast oh, called yeah, the Tiny exactly. Yeah, yeah, like so like the way that, that his FYI podcast is set up. Is that the FYI? Joke? No, no, no. No, he's he's famous. Like he's famous, famous. Oh. But um hey, if you watch hit like his production of his podcast, it's crazy. Like they they they're doing exactly what you're talking about, like the cameras and syncing the syncing the um the audio and everything. Oh yeah. Um so are y'all ever gonna that. do this like in person? Hell yeah. yeah like Mike, Mike nice Staple and stuff like that? Yeah, we're just in different states right now. Like, low-key, if I was back home, we probably would have pulled up on your ass type shit. Oh, where you at? I'm in Ohio. Oh, sheesh. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, nah, if we was back home and shit, well, as we do these, because when I come back, we probably going to run back through everybody and, like, do follow-ups and shit like that. Mm-hmm. Like a day in the life of a video. Directly. Nah, facts. Yeah, no, nah, y'all got to pull up to a shoot, man. I, yeah, we would that, and we would like tape you and shit, and like talk to you as you're going through your facts. Shit. That'd be tough. What's going on and shit. Yeah, that'd, that's be, what, that'd be fine. Yeah, I yeah. would love. I've never yeah, been a, on set. What the fuck? Cause like, yeah. okay, so I'm sure like with a there's you you've dealt with like low budget sets, and I'm sure you've been on a high budget set. Mm-hmm. So like, bro, like, is it drinks, refreshments, food, like? <laughs> um, I mean, if you're on a bigger production, yeah, you probably, yeah. you're going to have that. But on, on my productions, you're going to have to bring your own food. <laughs> Niggas be nah, cooking um, the ramen in the, in the microwave talking about, bro, we got some <laughs> shit. No, nah, it just, um, yeah, no, nah, my, it, it just be lights up, people standing around, cameras. But I mean, that's even music videos, like, they don't really take that long unless you're dealing with the, Big budget video. Okay. I would say the closest I ever got to being on set, I was on the red carpet before P with my dad. Are you talking about with that, that CNN awards? With my dad. And that, their, their shit, like in the backstage, bro. Oh, yeah. I bet they was going crazy. What, bro? Snacks, food. <laughs> I'm saying, like, damn. 
But then, like, I, I've never known, like, there's different budgets for different shit. So I can imagine pulling mm-hmm. up his apartment and he's like, dog, we got some Sprite in the fridge if you're thirsty or something. Nah, like, facts. <laughs> and you're like, fuck yeah, I take it type shit. It just depends, though, because, like, if I'm shooting a short film, it will, I'm, I'm always going to try to have, like, the the actors and actresses, like, set, like, food, water, all that, just because, like, they're actually, like, they're working as hard as me. Not to not yeah. rappers, but, but I'm, like, not everyone gets paid though, because like I'm sure you just be having extras that's just they just there for for what for like if you shoot a video like just extras like if you, oh for music videos like 15 girls and they just there because they friends with a so and so type shit. Um, you you can usually tell, like if if the if you're watching a video and the girls there are actually into the video and they're really like doing their thing they're probably paid or the artist is really popping like that because yeah. most most i'm not even gonna say girls most people like when they get in a video like they're they're just trying to be cool like they're not sometimes they're not trying to do too much they just be standing smoking whatever they're doing mm-hmm. like people just try to be cool and i hate that <laughs> I, like, I, I want them to go wild in every video i want everybody to have as much fun as possible go crazy but, like, in a sense, yeah. though, like, it's acting as well. Like, you're trying to get rappers to act in a sense. Dude, does it diff- is it difficult sometimes? And I'm sure a lot of them, like, yeah. they fuck with their own music. But if I'm sure you got deal. Are there dudes, like, you're like, dog, damn, this nigga cannot act. No, nah, so, yeah, some people are just, like, camera awkward. Just like, hey, bro, look that way and play with your chain or something. It's, oh, uh, I don't really want to. It's all right, buddy, stand there. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. I'm going to make you look good. So, yeah, some some people... That's, it's, it's dealing with a lot of personalities. Like, it's, that's how it is. The, yeah. Who's the worst personality? Or, or tell me, what's the best type of dude to work with? And then tell me, what's the worst type of nigga? You're like, bro, oh, my God, I did not want to work with My you. favorite type of people to work with is people that completely trust my vision, uh-huh. which is uh, a lot of people I work with completely trust me. But when they're like, bro, just do what you got to do. I trust you. Just tell me what to do. I, I, I love that. If they're willing to do it, <laughs> but when they're just like, "Bro, what do we got next? It, that's gonna look good, bro." Like, I, I hate when people do that. Like, have you you haven't seen my work? Like, it's like, it's like <laughs> you know what you're here for. Like, like why are you asking me these questions? Like, you sound nervous almost. Mm-hmm. Okay, <laughs> yeah, that's that's the worst. So, but like right now, because I guess because you're in the, the low budget, mid budget now, mm-hmm. you sound like you really accommodate for these artists. Does that make sense? Like, it sounds like you really go to your above and beyond, like, to your lengths to make sure that shit is good. But as you progress, are you going to, like, like, kind of hold off on that a little bit? Like, nah, I'll always try to go crazy. I mean, I'll always try to give the artist the best video just because the video is also mine. Like, if I give you a bad video, like, I shot the video. <laughs> like, what? The, that's on me. Like, it's not even on the artist at that point. So as long as the video is good, then after that, if the song is good, then we're straight. Okay. So I'll always try to give the artist 100%. Mm. Damn, low-key. See, it's funny, though. Do you think, because, like, the artist makes the song, right, and he gets paid off based off that. Would you, like, but, like, videographers, you guys only get paid, like, for the service of making the video, even though That's... that video can generate, like, numerous revenues. Is that like Is there, like, a way that you can, like, co-own the song or the video in a sense to where you can continue to generate revenue um maybe if i bought the song from the artist or if i like but yeah if i like paid them to make the song and then like let me own it i don't maybe i could do that but other than that like nah you only get paid for the video which i understand though because like an artist may need like 10 videos in a month yeah so like they may have got those millions of views from that song and like they're making money from it of course but like they still have to if I was a bigger budget, like, director, like, they may have to give me $10,000 for all of those videos they want that month. So, like, I'm still making money. That's just one artist. Like, directors deal with a lot of artists. So, you you make your money back. So, I've, I've, I've never hated off the fact that, like, they get all of the money from their song and the video and all that. Okay. Have you been yeah. on tour? Have you been on tour with uh, uh, any of these artists? Like, No, nah, I haven't been on tour. I don't know if I'll ever be able to really do that unless they're really like paying me for the the whole amount of time that i'm there because like if i do that then i'm missing out on the other like videos that i have to do okay like if i'm if i'm on tour with you for like a week then i can't shoot videos for a week i'm only shooting your videos but if you if you can afford it i'll definitely 
I'll definitely go on tour. P, you about to say something? My bad. I cut you off. Oh no, I was just gonna um, I was gonna ask, kind of piggybacking off the tour thing. Has anybody ever asked you like to make kind of like a mini documentary type, like a like just yo follow me around and like throughout my like what I do throughout the day, or is that even something that you're not interested in? No, yeah, I was gonna say people people ask me that, but I don't do that just because if I do that once, um, you're, y'all will see me doing it all the time. Yeah, and I'm not. I'm not a. I don't consider myself like a videographer. Essentially, like I'm trying to be a director. Like I'm only trying to direct music videos, short films, feature films, commercials, whatever. Like I'm only trying to direct it. I'm not trying to be like paparazzi. Like, oh, I'm not trying okay, to follow you around. Or... So like, okay, I see. I see exactly what you mean. Like you would, if I paid you, like, bro, like if I give you, f- and you just follow my man's with this camera. But that's not what you want to do long term. So like, ah. Uh, no, nah, just because that would also, like, I could, I mean, I could make a lot of money from doing that, but that would open the market for that, and everybody would hit me up for, like, hey, bro, you can come do this behind-the-scenes studio, blah, 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 and, like, and I'll do that. I'll do that for certain people I know. Like, I'll, I'm not against doing it, but I'm not, like, that's not what I do. Okay. How many, how are you getting, I'm assuming you're getting hit up often, but I was looking through your comments, countless niggas, bro, we got to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I, I get Pretty much every time I post a video, I'll get, like, more people hitting me up. And, of course, I have, like, regular clients that I've been working with for, like, years at this point. So it's it's always somebody new or somebody I've shot with before. How do you mitigate that, though? Like, like, how do you go through and see, like, who's actually being serious versus who's just fucking talking? Um, The people who are deposit ready. (laughs) <laughs> the people who really want it i'll be like all right you got to send a deposit to lock in this date and they do it immediately it's like all right he's 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 serious yeah. and then we we go on from there but the people who don't be serious be like uh yeah let me uh i'll get back to you blah 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 mm-hmm. three months later bro how much was it again <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> well what's the worst fuck up you've had though like what's the what's one time you shot the video you're like oh bro i don't fuck this nigga shit up like um it, i've never done that really i but recently recently i um yeah. i went to a video shoot and i forgot my battery and i drove to atlanta so i couldn't even shoot the shot and nighttime was coming but luckily i had my boy uh porter he shoots videos his name's porter visuals he he does videos behind the scenes all that stuff he was pulling up and he had a camera too so i was like bro let me use your camera please <laughs> <laughs> and then we um I, I ended up shooting the video on his camera. He saved my life. But that was the first time I ever done anything like that. That was like a month ago. <laughs> Jesus. You shoot a lot. Do you shoot a lot downtown, like in Atlanta? Yes. I'm sure a lot of the rappers. Yeah. Because that's, that's everybody's ideal. Like, I want to shoot in the city. But then it just ends up being in their apartment. <laughs> it's it's never i've rarely actually shot like in the streets or anything like that oh, why why don't they want to be in the street why the fuck are they in their apartment do they not know like this is not- um well one i'd say a lot of artists like but what do you think would make the perfect music video like what do you think what are the elements it would take i'm a, obviously budget but if you had that budget what would be the thing? What is the idea you have? You're like, bro, I would immediately go to this. Oh, man, I have so many ideas that I just have to save <laughs> just because of like um, planning reasons. But um, planning, planning would be the number one thing. If I had like, wrote, if I write treatments or storyboards for a video, the video is like going to be better than a running gun video every time. Mm -hmm. so the more the more i plan or the more that like people want a better video that that's what will make the videos better just planning because when you plan like it's not just random thoughts like you can put all of your cool thoughts on paper rather than just like all right i remember i had this one idea and then we're (laughs) shooting and then i forget and then i get home and it's like it's too late yeah and that happens a lot so like if i if the more i plan the better the videos will get so then you said you don't really fuck up videos, right? But but what do you think contributes to bad music videos? Would it be a lack of planning or but I'm sure it's more than just that. Um it's kind of everything like camera, lighting, 
I'm not going to say edits because edits is on my, my part. I can edit pretty much at whatever, but it's hard to edit something that has no like flavor already. Like that's so if, if you see me shooting a music video in somebody's mm. apartment, it will eventually slowly not be as good. <laughs> yeah. Just because like I've, sh- I've probably shot in the apartment like over 40 times at this point. Jesus. And it's not fun. <laughs> are you ever gonna are you ever gonna cut that off you ever gonna, i'll never uh, yeah, be like bro we can't shoot there because like sometimes people do need run and gun videos but like not every time <laughs> why, why do people need the running guns like do they have a due date or something like what the fuck is going on oh uh, i mean artists artists do a lot like if they, they'll be in the studio till like 5 a.m wake up and have to do a video at 2 p.m and they were drugged out the whole night like it's 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 hard like, I, I respect it. Like, they do a lot. They have to do photo shoots. They got to go make music with other artists. They got to talk to people all day. They got to deal with people DMing them and stuff. Like, it's sometimes getting a running gun video is just easy. Like, you can get it done in an hour and not think about it. The rest is just on me. <laughs> wow. Okay. Damn, bro. I'm not going to lie. Like, the way you describe it, it sounds like... Cause like the rappers, everyone wants to be a rapper. I'm sure a lot of people would like mm-hmm. to do what you do, but by the way you describe it, it sounds like a lot of cleaning up you have to do. You feel? Yeah, me? yeah, yeah. It's 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 a lot of pressure for for real. But that's it's fun. Like it's fun pressure. Like it's not nobody's ever mad at you. Okay. Yeah. Like it's never like oh bro like like if if somebody gets mad at you, you're probably not gonna work with them again. But like it's nobody's it's it's pressure, but it's not like like scary pressure or nothing it's just like i gotta get them a good video they're paying me uh, yeah i was looking through your shit man you did a lot of videos last year how the fuck were you doing these shits like in the prime of covid bro like, i would <laughs> i've done a lot more i just i don't post a lot of videos i do because if i posted every single video i did like the attention wouldn't be there just because not every, a lot, most of the videos I do are running gun. Mm-hmm. And I only want to post the videos that I really got to direct or really got to like have fun with visually. Yeah. But I mean, nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'd say COVID, most people were shooting videos because most people were inside. <laughs> Everybody was like brainstorming. Everybody's inside. So I bet let's shoot. There's the streets are empty. There's no traffic. Like let's, Let's do it. Oh yeah, that's true. Are you tra- are you traveling a lot? Are you going state to state a lot? Yeah, I got to go to um, L.A. on Tuesday. Are they flying um, you out? Um, it, it depends. Usually, usually, um, they'll pay for the flight, or sometimes I'll just leave just to build that connection. Uh, like if I have to go to L.A. to, because I mean, whenever you travel, like you're gonna connect with people you've never met before, mm-hmm. and if you build enough connections in different states and it's all about networking, all about connections. Yeah, that's a smart way to look at it. Not just going just because the money's there and shit. Yeah, like Is there yeah, a favorite place to go? Oh, yeah, I love it. I wouldn't say I love L.A. I love California. Really? You don't I, fuck with New York? Yeah. No. Really? <laughs> My I sister love- does that. I like New York, but I cannot live in New York. I, I definitely could live in New York, bro. I could, I you like, you live like at, your lifestyle? Yeah, I like the busy lifestyle because Cali, I just know Cali, I would lay my ass down. Like, <laughs> I'm not doing shit. The, the way people describe it, and it's so slow. Like, I've been there, but it's very free-flowing and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, you know, so sure. I definitely see the vibe for sure, but, like, I don't know. For Not everyone is built for that, you feel me? Nah, I feel that. Nah, I, I, I want to be in New York when it's cold. Most people don't like that, but I like being in New York, like, October to December. Oh yeah. But other than that, oh really? I, I thought that's I thought that's what you were gonna say was. I that's why you didn't want to. That's why you didn't like New York because of the cold. That's why. No, I, I, I love cold. There. I love it. <laughs> that I love the environment too. I love the energy. I just don't like the building setup. I don't want to be in a tiny apartment paying extreme amounts of money. Facts. That's that's the one thing I see. But that's why a lot of people stay in shit like Jersey City, shit like that. So they just commute type shit. Yeah, that's I'm not, I I haven't even like been all over New York to really even give a negative opinion about it like that. I'm really just hating, but <laughs> I, I couldn't live in New York. 
Corey, what what is something though that you want people to know about you and like your videos? Like what would, what is the thing that you feel like people need to know about you in reference to your work and stuff like that? That's that's what I'm trying to build this year. I'm trying to really show people how creative I am cuz my videos have not at all showed what I could actually do. Like all of my videos are really just heavy effects. Yeah. But like this year I'm 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 really focused on the composition of the video and like how extreme I can take it. Like I want to film people underwater or people on fire stuff like that. Like actual like <laughs> eye catching things, not just some cutout effects and motion blurs and stuff like that. I'm not gonna fail. It's interesting you say that, bro, because I don't usually expect a lot of people to like critique their work to the level that you do. You know what I'm saying? Like it putting that cost because like I've, there's a lot of people that I feel like would be really happy just being in your spot where you're at now. You feel me? No, yeah, yeah facts. I just know like I'm mm -hmm. trying to essentially be like one of the best. <laughs> and when when you want to be one of the best, you cannot be average and i'm at the point of being average but like i've i'm basically just starting like i've only been shooting for like three or four years but like right. now is the time to really advance like i understand how the industry works i understand what it takes like now i didn't need to build a production company shoot real production shoot real like sh shoot a video that somebody wants to pay ten thousand dollars for because like right now why would you give me ten thousand dollars <laughs> I, like i i have no proof of what i can do with your ten thousand dollars but that's that's i just have to prove myself basically that sounds like so that's basically kind of like the groundwork and those net those are kind of like the next steps that you would take mm -hmm. in terms of building that i guess llc starting your own would you hire people so like do you want to hire people eventually someday i'm assuming no i mean i would hire people right now like i i i don't like having people like work with me and i not pay them like, if I'm like, hey, I need you to come, like, help me with this lighting or carry this stuff, like, I'm always going to pay you. Okay. So, technically, like, I, I do, nah, I don't even, I'm not even going to say I have people that work for me, but I, I would, I will have people working for me because I don't want to, like, set up lights and <laughs> do any of the other stuff. I just want to focus on shooting, directing, and editing. Take me through directing because, I do. I'm still having a hard time grasping the concept. So, like... What exactly is a director doing? So a director is basically people. I mean, it's it's one of the two things. When you're dealing with movies, the director. I'm not even gonna say that. Yeah, it's pretty much the same. The director just takes the ideas that are in the air or creates the ideas that are in the air, and then puts it on camera. Because like not everybody can do that. Like everybody has ideas, but it's hard to put it on camera. Mm hmm. And then, of course, the director of photography, that's the person who controls the camera. But they, they're hand-to-hand. -hand. But the director, he, he directs. Like, all right, you guys come over here, do this, next scene, blah, blah, blah. Like, you're, you're just directing things, literally. Mm -hmm. Directing, telling people what to do, and how to do it for it to look good on camera. And so are you, are you studying a lot of your videos and videos that you'd like to make in order to kind of grasp that concept? Because, like, now that I think of it, I'm like, damn, if I started directing now how would I know exactly what camera angle I want? Is that through previous experience? That's, um, that's on style. Cause there's no correct way to technically do something. Okay. Like there's, there's the fundamentals, like there's of course, like the basics of how you do it. But after that, that's what makes you a director. That's mm -hmm. what I'm saying. I want to be able to have people watch my videos and realize like, that's my video. Right. Are you, so you have to build your own identity with how you direct. Have you been, have you been creating that? Own, or do you feel like you've created that own style? Or like you said, are you still working on creating that own style? No, it's, it's just, it's definitely there. I just haven't been able to execute. Okay. And that's just because like some things I want to do might take days. Like, the artists don't have time for that <laughs> or or i'm just being, not being paid enough for that either or but like but that's 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 why i'm about to start working on more like personal projects like i'm about to start making dropping like art pieces every like week or every month of like movie scenes not music videos like just just to show like what i can actually make artistic on camera that's dope would Somebody you um or would you ever consider stop just doing music videos? Like when you feel like you want to start doing feature and short films 
or will you always be like married to to music videos um i'll never like at a certain point if i were shooting or directing um films like that one it's kind of a time thing but like if i have artists i've worked with or artists that specifically want me to do it i'll never turn it down of course at that point it may be like a certain price for me to do it but i'll never turn down shooting a music video yeah unless i just completely hate it for some reason <laughs> but with your music production with the production with the videos th does that go hand in hand with music production at all like do you ever have to tweak a song or because like i'm assuming you gotta align the audios with the videos right do you ever have to tweak um or add a new element to the song oh okay i would say yeah then because uh, recently i've been getting into more sound design with the videos mm -hmm. and at certain points like i feel like the the song needs like some type of like enhancement at a certain point when the beat drops or something and something's happening at that moment like if he breaks a glass at that point of the beat dropping then i'll add like a faint glass break into the song i would say mm. but like you don't really see it because it's it just sounds like a sound effect with the video but you have to do that on beat and stuff like that or else you kind of notice and i'd say that's the only area i tapped in when, with like the music part but other than that it's it's completely on the artist they control all that have any of them made have any of them like have you ever sat down with the artist and like they wanted to create the concept before the music is that something that's prevalent like is that something that happens often i i don't think i've ever had somebody do that would you be opposed to doing that no, no, no. If I could, I would gladly build a concept and then make or get the song for that concept. Because that would be so much easier. <laughs> like easier for you, but it'd probably be harder on the rapper. Do you think so? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it would be easier on me and harder on the artist, I would say. Mm -hmm. Just because now they got to create a song to that vibe. But at the same time, I mean, like they have all the creative freedom they want. Did so you watch it, Lil Nas X video, bro? Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> that video was fine. You think so? <laughs> the video was weird, but like the the production on that video was crazy. But he's yeah, he went crazy. Would you film um, some shit like that, bro? If so, no, nah, I like, couldn't bro. morally. Really? Like I wasn't, I wasn't even raised to do that. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay, like, okay. Yeah. Maybe not fuck the devil, but if someone's like, yo, I want this scene, bro, like, and I want it to be like I'm slapping her with my dick, like in her face. I would say I could I could film it, but I couldn't be the editor on that. Like all mean? of that editing side, I wouldn't even touch <laughs> that. <laughs> they were they were yeah, man. I don't know. Okay, but as you do become you, a film, mm -hmm. Patrick, go ahead. Oh no, I was just gonna say like, what's the craziest thing someone's ever told you to edit in like their videos, and you were just like, I can't do that shit. <laughs> I just can't. Or is there even anything like that? I don't. I don't think so. Most of the artists I shoot for are, are normal people. <laughs> okay. None of them are weird like that. Yeah. You're about to do. You want to do film though. That's the thing that keeps getting me. Like you mm -hmm. want to do film. So like music video is one thing. You see, what I'm saying mm -hmm. the concepts already kind of exist within the music. What are they rapping about, right? And you build all. Mm -hmm. that. But as you do film and you work with, I guess, creatives, and hopefully you get to that level someday. Dude, like, there are NC-17 films with this full-on sex scenes in the goddamn film. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Oh, I mean, that's... I would... I'll deal with that, though. Because that's okay. actual... That's an actual movie. Like, that's actual, like... There's reasoning behind it. Mm -hmm. There's, like, real art and dialogue behind all that. So it's a little different. Okay, and it's so a little more professional. Right, right, right. So in the context of that, you're not opposed to that. Nah, I, 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 would, I, would, I would go crazy on a, on a film. Like, stuff I wouldn't do for a music video. What what's the craziest shit you saw when you put up to a dude's grab that you legally can say? Like, is there have you ever pulled up and you're like, yo, what the fuck is going on? Um, nah, I wouldn't say that, but I've shot a full music video in somebody's bedroom. And that was probably the craziest thing I've done. It was a small bedroom. Yeah. It was like, um, like <laughs> Oh, what what was the concept was it just like i'm sleeping dog the the artist his name was um li li9 he, he just got signed to motown 
But um, we pulled up. Motown, and I was Motown like, right, records. What was she not saying? He was like, "Nah, we gonna shoot in the crib." And I was like, "All right, bet." And his, his friends were trying to deliver him and stuff. So I, I thought it was gonna be one of those videos, like we're just shooting throughout the crib, and then we're in the bedroom, and he's like, "Yeah, we just gonna shoot in here." And I was like, "Bet, <laughs> we can make it happen." And I just made like it was concept was like the bedroom was on fire basically. He was just rapping in there, and we made it work. That was probably one of the mm-hmm. toughest things I've had to do. What makes it tough though to edit and stuff? Like, what makes a music video tell you, like when it's just in one location, you don't have much else to work yeah, with? Yeah, it's music videos are so much easier to edit when you have actual plans. Cause then, like, I get in there and it's like, all right, I know I have to make the door look like it's falling down or something. But if I didn't plan that before, then I'm sitting there for like 30 minutes, like, all right, what animation can I do to this bed frame right now? And then this, it just, it takes way more time because I don't want to just do something random to it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So it's definitely harder What's with less planning. It's, it's really harder starting off. Like any, any just starting out director, or videographer, or whatever, like that's the hardest point I'll say. Because you have to deal with Is it- nothing. <laughs> you just have to deal with a bunch of nothing and create something. And then make it look yeah. good and promote yourself. For and sure. then try to get out of that slump. But once you get out of there, you're you're good. Like, was it was it hard in the beginning? Because sometimes when people ask, bro, like, I want this, I want that. And like since you kind of weren't like at the level you're at right now, you're like, I'm sorry, bro. Like, I'm just starting off. I don't think I could do that, but I could try to do this or no, I the thing, I'll never tell an artist no. Like if an artist wants something, I'm gonna make it happen. Like, I, if I'm trying to be the best or I'm trying to be a great like that, like, I can't say no to them. <laughs> I have to figure yeah. it out. Yeah. So I'll, I'll, I'll never say no to an artist. Unless they're like, hey, let me make me on fire while I'm walking. And I say, like, bro, I don't do 4D animation or any of that. But I can make this look like it's on fire, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Yeah. But other than that, I'll always try to work with the idea, but I'll never say no to an idea. Okay. My last question for you, man, is... <clears throat> it's now you've been in it what three four years now and you i guess you're headed you, you, you're doing your best you're gonna head to the top hopefully someday but what would your advice be like to yourself while first starting off that you wish you would have known or to anyone that's just starting what would that advice be work as hard as you can even if you think you worked hard and you feel like you're burnt out keep working because like i could be so much better right now if i spent more hours editing or something or more hours trying to film like at a certain extent once you start doing videos and you get paid for it like you get some days off and it's just like i don't feel like creating anything like i'm tired but like if you can like keep being creative keep learning your camera keep testing just every time whatever just filming like you'll you'll get better so fast because like i've been doing it for three or four years and i'm at where i'm at now but if i worked harder i could have been here last year (laughs) right but that's just that's just motivation that just depends on how hard you're willing to work but it's just keep working hard for real (laughs) that's what i got to keep reminding myself like if i if i'm bored like there's no reason i should be bored like i have i have a career i'm trying to make happen like now is the time for that yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. Man, this shit, that's my I life. I respect Pat, that. Pat, you got anything? Um, oh, I meant to ask this, like, kind of in the middle, but mm. did you expect that OMB um, video to blow up like that? Bro, Or no. did you know, like, when you made it, and you were like, bro, this one, this is the one. <laughs> oh, you didn't expect well, it? Well, okay, so what happened was he called me at, like, 5 p.m., and he was like, bro, I got this song that I've been teasing on my Instagram. People have been going crazy about it. Let's shoot it. I was like, when? He was like, right now. I was like, "Uh, okay, (laughs) I'm not doing anything, so why not? And then I pulled up there, and then we got a shot in his living room, a shot in his dining room, and then a shot outside. And then I edited it that same day. And then he posted it the next day. And it was at like a million in whatever time. And I was like, sheesh. Wait, and then it kept yo, going up. I, I didn't expect that at all. Yeah, his OMB PZ video got like 32 mil. OMB PZ video. Yeah, we shot that probably like a year ago or two years ago. 32 mil? 
Yeah, man. That, but, okay, crazy. But this is what I'm saying with the equity, though. It's like, is there no way that an artist and a videographer can partially, like, you can partially own a video in the same way that they, I guess, they would make money off of it? Does that make sense? Um, I'll say no when they're on a label because they own the song, the label owns the song. I'm just shooting the video. They still own that song. Like, the, the song is getting those views, technically. Would you... And his YouTube channel. Like, if... if it's kind of up to the artist. Like, if he wanted to give me a cut or whatever from the video or whatever he made, that's kind of up to the artist. But, like, I I would never really care to, like, get his money from that. Yeah. Okay. Because I, I, I did shoot him a good video, but it's the his song is still the one driving in those views. That's dope, man. 32 mil? The fuck? Yeah, yeah no, nah, that, that shit's crazy. <laughs> man, bro, that's something to be proud of. Like, real talk, bro. Facts. That, that's that's the moment I was like, all right, I can definitely do I can definitely do something in this industry. Absolutely. Because yeah, that's, that's it crazy. took no effort. Like to, th that video wasn't even a great example of what I can do, but yeah, I was just gonna strange. ask that. You edit that in like what? You said you edited in like three, four hours. I edited it in like nine hours or less. What the fuck that's is the name of this? Video um thing? big homie OMB peasy OMB peasy big homie yeah we we went crazy on that that was uh yeah that was probably one of the did you do the most... on my way you did the on my way joint too didn't you on my way on my way soda man oh that's soda yeah mom too yeah, yeah I did that one <laughs> bro you know which one you I don't know if you actually finished this one but like when I seen that you had did that video for BK the ruler I went on YouTube instantly. I was like, bro, where is this shit? <laughs> like, I needed to watch this shit. Did you ever yeah, finish that? Or... No, nah, we it's it's definitely finished. Um, I don't. It, that's on her. I don't. I don't know what she's doing with it. I can't just drop it because it's it's an yeah. unreleased song. I'm pretty sure. So, but uh, yeah, I don't. I don't know what she wants to do with that. That was at a time like that was like right before she really started going crazy with her videos. Oh, really? Yeah. I feel like I don't know. I don't I don't they, um so like do they have to sing the whole fucking song over and over again? Yes, yeah. that's that's one thing Every outside the, every <laughs> single time. Yeah. Bro, so that's that's a question. Question. I mean it depends like if they need to start in the middle of the song, but yeah, every time it's a different scene, that's a different time they rap. That's what I'm saying. The artists actually have to do a lot. Bro, that's for me, like, it's it's sing my song ten times because we're in two Facts. different spots. And Facts. to bring that energy every fucking time, mm -hmm. that actually gives me some sympathy for the artist. I'm not going, and damn near, now I know why artists don't listen to their own fucking music. Because I'd be like, I never want to hear this song ever the fucking Bro, day. I've heard that song over 30 times. <laughs> Just because I got to edit it, it's crazy. So I know they don't, well, I don't know. They like their own music, though. I like the music, too. So they, I mean, they I might. can kind of relate because, Pat, when I edit our podcast, it'll be like the seventh time I've heard a joke. <laughs> yeah. Like you feel me, and I'll still laugh and shit, but I'll be like, God damn, bro! Nah, if, I hear, I, <laughs> if I hear that fucking or like when I edit like the intro to a podcast will be a certain song, and I hear that intro like we did JX, we did his podcast, right? And literally, I heard his fucking Hi I'm JX song one million fucking times, <laughs> and I literally almost. That's how it be. Bro. I was like, No, oh God, <laughs> I hear this shit ever again. I swear to God. Yeah, I gotta mute it after a while. I feel that, bro. Like, like I'm definitely on your side. Sometimes I listen to the same joke and I'll still like bust out laughing. But sometimes I'll <laughs> listen to myself over again. I'll be like, "What the fuck? Like, Facts. why did I like? <laughs> like, I hate the way that I'm talking right now. Like, this shit is annoying. <laughs> I need to stop watching this shit. I need to stop listening." Yeah, but I mean, yeah, that's how I feel about my videos, bro. That's exactly what I'm <laughs> Would you like, ever be? You shoot that like that? Would you ever be a lead like videographer for like a company or something like that? Like. Um, but you want to do directing, so I'm assuming it's a no. It depends. Like, well, what do you mean by company? You talking about like Sony? You talking about like labels or something? Hell yeah, like that or like fuck it. Like, let's say Target's like, okay, this is who we need someone to shoot all of. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I would do that. I would do okay, that. You do that because Target's gonna give me that bag. <laughs> Absolutely, man. You make some Target. Fire Target has very creative commercials. So one, like, I'd be getting yeah. paid a lot too. I'd be really getting to show how creative I can get. Absolutely. Because commercials is where you can really get creative. Okay, I didn't know if you want to get in that side of the industry too, because now that I'm thinking about it, like there's so many uses, I guess, for kind of what you do, especially if you want to direct 
there's mm-hmm. so many literal like literal uses for what you do even yeah, like, yeah i'm i'm with it all i commercial short the only thing i don't do is like weddings personal vlogs <laughs> birthdays stuff like that unless it's like real personal like my cousin asked me then i'll do it of course but like i, I don't provide those services just because it's that's where it gets stressful oh yeah uh, that's when it's damn, not fun i no forgot more. people have to tape their fucking weddings bro what? My God, bro. <laughs> you know how long a wedding is? a wedding I mean, is you, can, two you days. can tax like two thousand three thousand for a wedding video but like it's intense you can't yeah. miss anything. You can't like. Oh my God! God forbid you miss a fucking moment. Oh man! <laughs> Have you, you guys know, watched you your parents? Like, Have you guys know. watched your parents' wedding before? Have you watched your parents' wedding? Mm-hmm. No, I haven't. Have you? Yeah, I I I seen my my parents' wedding video like a few times. Jesus, I think I watched it when I was younger. I haven't seen that bitch in a minute now. Ugh. Yeah. I forgot that you even have to tape your wedding. That's I'm glad I remember that now. Man, <laughs> shouts out, shouts out to any wedding videographers because that is a job. Mm-mm. Yeah, that's that's so crazy. You know, like because well, I'll, I'll be watching movies and you know how they'll be at the altar for like ten minutes, not even ten mm-hmm. minutes, like two minutes. And I'm like, bro, wedding seems so lit. So I went to my uncle's wedding when I was in like the ninth grade. Oh no! Dude, they were at the altar. Like I swear to God, they were at the altar for like an hour. Like I, it's not even. I'm not even joking. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck is this? Boy. Like this is. <laughs> bro, it's so say- ridiculous, bro. Like, mm-hmm. what'd you say? I was gonna ask him if he would tape sports. Would you tape sports? What do you mean by that? Like a like a like a, like a mixtape mix type thing. Hell yeah! Would yeah. you make it someone a make? I would, Hell I would yeah, do that. I would do that a few times just to like make it different. I would really try to make it like a, a real would, cinematic type re- thing. Cause yeah, you would add some crazy ass animations to a nigga who mixtape. Yeah, I would. I would try to make them their the highlight tape of their like, life. Literally, this nigga <laughs> shoot the ball and the whole basketball court just explode. Yeah, I would. Yeah, stuff <laughs> like nigga. that, like how the like, NBA does it, bro. Like, like he he, he like dunked on the nigga and the nigga vanished in the video. Just Facts. Like, that'd be crazy. Green screen, <laughs> like, oh, that'd be hard, bro. Now that I'm thinking about it, yeah, See, I would that's definitely some... try that one day. Patrick, if you ever have like a lot, a lot of money, would you tape for like a clothing brand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I do stuff like that. Yeah, I do, Patrick, um, clothing if... brand promos and stuff like that. Uh-huh. I know, yeah, like I, I would, I would definitely like, I would because de- when I was starting my stuff up, I was like, damn, like. Like a video with with Kari, that shit would be crazy. And then you nah, posted yeah, like yourself. We could we could make something crazy. I appreciate you, bro. But I was looking at because I I I always want to pay people with a full price and shit. I had seen your price list. I was like, bro, I am not there yet. But yeah, I swear, well, I'm God, saying, when, that's, I, that's when I am videos though, it depends what you need. Like thirty second promo videos or like or whatever timing. It's it's all different prices. What yeah. what do you have a website? Yeah. No, I don't have a website. Everything's like strictly Instagram. Okay, I got gotcha. you. I did have a website, but like, I don't. There's no need right now. Like, I'm not selling anything, nah. and like, everybody hits me up on Instagram. Okay, yeah. But that yeah. that that's definitely coming. That's I have to just because like professionalism and stuff like that. But. Absolutely. Like basically though, what's cool about your profession though is you, it's just like music. Your your videos are basically your resume. So like, yeah, exactly. You know exactly. All my videos are in my portfolio. And mm-hmm. they, they work. They explain themselves. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not bad at all. Um, I only have one question, really. And it's not it's, it's kind of a simple question. Where did um where did Kari come from? Like, it's so similar to your name. Um, but like, my name is Kari and my middle name is Keylon. So it's like the first of both. Like Car Keylon. How long oh, okay. before gotcha. how long before someone told you that shit sounds like car key? Like a literal car key. That's that's the only way I can tell people. They're like, how do you say it? I'm like car key. <laughs> like your car. And that's that's kind of how people envision it at first, I guess, till they see my Instagram name. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit, man. I appreciate yeah. you, bro. Taking the time out, real talk. Hey, man, I appreciate y'all, man. Yeah. This y'all came with, y'all came with some good questions. It was that's that's some good content right there. Yeah, yeah. Hey, we appreciate you, bro. Y'all keep doing your thing, man. 